Hello to everyone. Uh, today it is my first uh, vlog on DJI drones. Basically, uh, I was thinking that I must introduce all drones I had and I have because it is very much necessary for every person in the world to learn how to fly a drone and how to get the information, the best drones in the market. I'm a handicapped person and I was really under, I was gone in depression after becoming handicapped, but somebody advised me to engage myself into different things. I started painting, playing music, and then finally I came on drones. I have been using different type of drones in small area and slowly slowly in big area. Today I am a professional pilot internationally right from the small till big drones. Therefore I decided to teach all people in all over the world how to use drones, how to check drones and what are the precautions. Today my first drone is DJI FPV. FPV means first person viewer. Basically this drone is always used with goggles. And once you wear the goggles, you feel like that you are sitting yourself inside the drone or inside the aircraft or helicopter and whenever the drones will be making maneuvers you feel like that you as you are also maneuvering in the same way because your body definitely will act your sense sensation will be in the same manner as you are sitting inside inside the drones so therefore my first advice that whenever you start with fpv you have to sit on chair or somewhere don't stand otherwise because you can become imbalanced and can fall so now i will show you the first drone from dji which uh, i will uh, be introducing you and this is the dji fpv drones these are the goggles which i was talking about that don't fly the drones while you are standing once you are wearing these glasses uh, 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 goggles rest this is the drone it is fpv combo combo means the things which are even extra which you need to fly now i will show you the real drone it is a very hard drone very solid and very powerful this is the best drone ever made by DJI and it is very fast to fly it can fly till 98 miles few people they told me that they have flown the same drone on 103 miles means you can calculate how many kilometers almost 160 or 70 so this drone is always flying on three modes s mode n mode and m mode s mode is student mode and that you cannot go in long distance you will remain within the short distance plus you will be flying on gps mode the normal mode is that you will be flying on gps mode but you can fly the long distance, the maximum range it can flow, fl uh, fly. Basically, many people they have flown over seven kilometer, eight kilometer even. But it is my advice: never, never, and ever fly any drone beyond your vision. Your vision should be on the drone, and I think my experience still one kilometer you can view but after one kilometer it is very hard to find the drone so it is much better to fly within your visual range otherwise something can happen and if something happened then it is very hard to find the drone and very hard to 
see where the damage has been occurred till the time somebody is complaining so now this drone hold sensors in the front that is called obstacle avoidance system down below also sensors camera and light this is also it works while coming down landing and it can hold itself automatically to the lowest speed so that it should not get damaged from the legs plus in s mode and n mode all sensors will be working along with gps now coming on to the m mode in m mode the this you will fly out of gps then you have to control everything of this drone at your own height maneuverability distance crashing because no sensor will be working no gps will be working so that's that's why m mode is very very difficult and once you get proficiency in the fly, while flying this drone then you should go for m mode but i do not recommend a learner to even go to n mode what to talk about the s mode now at the front you will see at this small plastic window you can open it and once you open you will find where you can fix the cable to connect with computer and this here is the place for sd card it is also waterproof once you are flying any moisture anything it they can remain safe this is the protective glass for the camera and i recommend whenever you fly this drone use a protective glass then we, i can confirm you that you can make your video absolutely in 4k good quality while keeping even the glass why i am saying the, this glass should remain because in case something happen while you are flying many birds they come and try to handle it and you cannot damage the camera i can show you the camera while removing this uh, uh, protective protective glass here is the camera it is a 4k camera and it move up and down but no sideway because this is fpv drone and fpv drones always make the maneuvers like that and if you, your camera will be holding a gimbal 360 then you will not feel that uh, uh, you are sitting inside the drone and like that because then it it will keep the video in balance line even drone is going like that that is system in the other drones but not in fpv so in that regard you have to have this protective glass always on while even you are flying so because you can keep the safety of this drone never and ever fly this drone once there is a snow or there is a rain because the motors it is not a waterproof you can see there are three holes which can can take the moisture and the motor can get damaged plus one thing more many people i have seen they are using some extensions here clips and then using other camera gopro or something like that i do not recommend you because once you will be flying this drone in speed the air resistance will be coming and it will be extra tension on the motors and motors can get warm and you can destroy the drone it is much better to keep the drone in, in the same condition as it is and it hold a very good camera 4k camera so why you should use an extra camera so it is better to use as a standard last i will say that today i i uh, there is a lot of snow outside and uh, it is not possible to fly this drone in the next video i will take my drone out i will make the video i will show you live how classical this drone is and how nice video it can make you can enjoy while uh, flying the drone and while roaming around so for that time being i uh, back leave and surely we'll see you in the next video thank you very much
バイバイ。